Welcome back, uh, everybody, to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. I got mail. Let's take a peek at the bottom screen. I was going to say if it wants to show up. Uh, one from the HHA. Okay. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, are these actually probably are both from the HHA. So that one's from exceeding 10,000 points. Uh, this one is for exceeding 20. Uh, and that is going to be a result of the pictures that we put up in the last episode. Um, the uh, pictures that we got on April Fool's Day, we got, I think, three of them. Uh, they are worth uh, a lot of points for the HHA. So the first reward they send you is a t-shirt. Uh, the second is a pennant flag that we can hang up if we'd like. Um, I might rock with the t-shirt for a little bit. I actually don't hate the HHA t-shirt, even though I am generally against shilling for corporations on your clothing, but um, that's okay. Uh, let's see, we'll put it above the window here next to uh, next to Chop's picture. Uh, we did pay off our house, I believe, in the last episode, uh, so that's something we can do today. The other thing that we can do is finally get working on uh, some of our town development stuff because our uh, our permit came in the last episode, but I was unable to do work because it was April Fool's Day. Hey, there's people outside my window. Love it. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, I am just gonna. Well, well, let's talk to Coco real quick. Hello. Want to chat? Um, okay, so yeah, this is something that can occasionally happen. Animals will ask to come over to your house or to have you come over to theirs anytime after four. Uh, I'll probably still be playing uh, at that point, um, so we can do that. Whoops, I forgot to take the bottom screen off of the screen. Alright, like I said though, uh, I'm going to uh, head around and do some of the daily tasks that we've got. Uh, I believe you have a new neighbor as well. Isabel didn't mention it, I think maybe because he's already been here for a day. Um, or two, I guess, because it's been two days since I recorded. But, uh, whatever, yeah, I'm going to... Nice voice crack. Uh, I'm going to head around town and pick up fossils, water, flowers... How's my inventory looking? Okay, we're good. I literally looked at it earlier this episode, but whatever. Yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Hi, Peck. What's up? Hey, uh, hey, Patrick. Gotta love this weather. Perfect training condition. Yeah, I know. I'm loving the weather in this game because it's, uh, it's actually snowing where I am right now. Lovely April in Colorado. We get the April snow showers. I discovered a space in my house where I might be able to squeeze in a small piece of furniture. If you have anything like that, will you let me know about it? Uh, I don't have anything right now, but potentially when we go shopping later, I will have something. Ah, I finally did it on camera. Okay. Uh, that is what it looks like when you get all of the uh, sacks of money from the money rock. Do I hear a balloon? I do. Um, and it's actually going that way towards the cliff, so I'll try to remember to go and grab that in a sec. Um, God damn. okay. So, yeah, it, it, it has been a few days, but it just seems like every time I come back to my town, all of these flowers, not all of them, but a lot of them are wilted. Um, and we also, also have a lot of weeds to take care of. Uh, I believe we're going to do something today that will help mitigate that stuff in the future and I think it'll be the best way the best course of action for how this series has been going so far I'm glad that I decided to check over here I feel like nine times out of ten it's just the, the pitfall seed but nine times out of ten if you're missing a uh, a fossil it always feels like it's in like the corner of your map somewhere just like somewhere like hidden behind a flower or something Anyways, back to, to doing stuff. Where'd that balloon go? Pop. 
<laughs> I love that. There's like not even an animation for it. It's just like, eh, it just popped in front of your face. You moved your shovel and it popped. All right, let's go see what this is real quick. I'm hoping it's not part of the balloon furniture, but I think the first couple that you find always are. Oh, I forgot to put my money away. It is a balloon bed. Um, yeah, not my favorite item in the game, but that's okay. At least it's in our catalog. All right, I still have a few more fossils to dig up, so I'm gonna try and find those, uh, and then we might stop by Town Hall. There is also uh, an event. Actually, yeah, why don't we do that right now? Um, you might have seen when I was at the plaza, there's this uh, tent set up here. Also, it looks like our tree has grown a little bit. Uh, it now has two little leafy bits on it. Um, but yeah, this tent uh, might look familiar if you are familiar, I guess, with the uh, the Animal Crossing series. This is Red. Ah, welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting my shop. Oh, could this be the first time of, uh, your first time here meeting old Red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lover lovers. Lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. But of course, since all these really, really rare items are all really rare items. We sell only one item per customer. Why well, ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in. Don't be shy. Look around all you want. Hee hee hee. All right. So um, if you're familiar with Red, uh, you may recognize that uh, some of these pieces of art uh, are not correct. I believe this one is incorrect. I think she's supposed to have a blue band. Scarlett Johansson was in a movie about this painting, I think, but I never saw it. Um, uh, this one, it's depending on which way his hand is facing, either up or down. I can't remember which is supposed to be correct. Uh, that, I want to say is correct. I, I think this one, she's supposed to be holding a ferret, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me uh, Let me double check all of these real quick. Okay, yeah, so this painting is facing the wrong way. Um, this painting is in D... Yeah, it's supposed to be blue, not orange. Uh, the statue of King Kamehameha is supposed to be having <coughs> his fan hand face up, not down. Uh, so by default, he'll I believe he'll always have one uh, real piece of art. He may have more, but he'll always at least have one. Uh, it's apparently not a ferret. The title of this painting is Lady with Ermine, with an Ermine. It's a, apparently a Da Vinci painting. But if she's holding a cat, then it's fake. It'll be a big fluffy cat. Um, this is the real one, though. Um, so yeah. Whoa, I see you got your eyes only for that serene painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you, too. I must say, that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling that for just 39,020 bells. This time and just this time only. Did I say 39,000? 3,900. What do you think? You want it? I'll take it. Whoa, really? What a shock. Well, obviously you'd have to be cra as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet pay payment and we'll be all set. Okay, got it. Well, then I'll mark this serene painting as a sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap up this uh, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it over to you as soon as the exhibit is over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get delivered, so make sure you got space ready. Um, yeah, I, I have never ran into the problem of my mailbox being full. May per maybe once or twice in this game, but it's not a very frequent thing. Uh, like you said, though, we, are act we aren't actually going to get the painting until tomorrow. I don't know why he mails it to us when I just purchased it and I could take it home right there, but whatever. Not a big deal, I guess. Uh, who else? Oh, hey, it's Lobo. Yeah, you, uh, what? I've never actually met you before, right? Didn't think so. I'm Lobo. I decided to live here in Ginger, so here I so I am. Wait. I decided to live here in Ginger, so I am. Hey, nice to meet you, Aru. Aru. Is he going to be doing the the cartoon sound effects. Never a pretty lady walks by. Awuga. 
Hey there, I'm just gonna move past that. I was trying to, again, it's like in my episode of Elden Ring where I was just like, yeah, that joke like died in my head before it got to my mouth. I just put, put together a time capsule with my most prized possession inside. Now, you have, now I just have to bury it. Saying goodbye to my stuff is harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna miss it. I hope I don't cry. I'm too bummed out to bury the time capsule right now. You have to do it for me. Okay. Great, I knew I could count on you. This is another thing that villagers can ask to do. The time capsule is stored where you normally put your letters. Bury it somewhere, I won't find it. I'd be really upset if you opened it too, Mion. Um, so yeah, we can't actually do that if we want. We could just open it. Same with, like, if a villager gives you something to give back to another villager. They, they always wrap it. So if you unwrap it, you could just, like, keep it if you want. Um, but it's kind of a scummy thing to do, so I generally don't. I think your animals will actually like you less if you do that. What's up, Rocco? I hit the B button instead of the A button. Hang on. What do you want, hippie? That thing you're wearing, that's an HHA T, am I right? Yeah, I've heard of it before, but I never thought I'd see it with my own two eyes. You must have worked hard to get that, hippie. You actually helped me get it, Rocco, because you gave me your, your painting. Or your picture, rather. Not painting. Still thinking like it was red. Uh, oh boy, I forgot about this. Oh, crap. I was planning on going home for Easter. I'm actually back in my apartment. Um, I don't live too far away from where I go to school, but so it's not a big deal for me to drive back and forth. But I was going to go back for Easter, but this is your notification. On on April 9th, Zipper T Bunny will be arriving in Ginger. Grab your tools and head to the plaza for a fun day of surprises. So unlike in uh, New Horizons, the event doesn't go on for like weeks at a time. The event, uh, in fact, is just limited to a couple of days, um, or a day rather, um, at least for that one. I, th uh, th there are... I mean, there are some events like um, Halloween and Christmas and stuff that will, um, they'll they'll have like items in the shop um, that uh, I'm gonna bury this time capsule here. Barry, I almost hit read. That would have been bad. Um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, they'll have like special shops. Uh, there's actually furniture sets for um, like the last three holidays of the year with Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Although they call it what is it? Spirits Eve. Um, what do they call Thanksgiving in in this one? Turkey Day. That's right. Yeah, Turkey Day and. Um, uh, toy day for Christmas. I picked up a lost item. I wonder if somebody dropped this. Maybe I should look for the owner and return it. Uh, yet another thing that can happen while you're, uh, in town. You can occasionally find a, uh, lost item that you will need to, to take to your villagers to see if they, uh, if they recognize it. Okay, that is a gold nugget. Um, I bring that up specifically because the gold nuggets are actually special. Um, there are, as I mentioned, a bunch of different types of uh, ore, but if you get three different uh, gold ores, uh, you can actually, well, not yet. You can take them to retail and make gold furniture with them, but there's a, a character in retail that we have yet to meet, um, so I don't know why I'm doing this. I already got the money rock. Um, so we, uh, I, I mean, the gold furniture isn't really my favorite. If you're going for, like, catalog completion, then... Yeah, I would say recommend. I would recommend saving up your golden ore. I can't get that balloon, Sag. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, I I generally just sell them. I th think they sell for slightly more. I want to say that like the regular ore sells for two thousand and the gold gold sells for three, so you get a little bit more money from it. Uh, I guess we could tell Mo that we buried his his time capsule. Uh, I buried it. All I have to do is kick back and wait for the day I can open it. When I feel like it's time, I'll ask again for your help. Alrighty, um, we can also check in with him. Is this bag that we found yours? I think it's kind of dumb that they make you have to select it, but whatever. Did, did you lose this? Sorry, this isn't mine, but with Detective Patrick caught on the case, I'm sure the owner will be found before too long. Alright, well... Uh, I should only have one more fossil to find, but if it isn't in this last little area of the town, then I missed it somewhere, and that's a bummer, so I'm gonna have to go back through with a fine-tooth comb. 
just like space balls. Um, but I will check in with the other uh, villagers to make sure that uh, the lost item is not theirs. Is that? No, I'm hallucinating. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I will be right back. All right, new guy, is this yours? Yo, Yo Patrick. Ah! Hit my desk while I was trying to move my hand. Nope, nope that's not mine. Short and sweet, fair enough. All right, Peck, your turn. Is this yours? Carbo loaded today. What did I eat today? Um, not a lot. <laughs> I need to eat more fruit. I have a bunch of fruit that if I don't eat, it's gonna go bad. Not even close. I never owned anything like this. Okay, well, just line them up, gentlemen. I guess here's Rocco. <laughs> Did you drop this? I'm going to sneeze. Of course when I have to sneeze and blow my nose it actually is Rocco. You didn't look inside, did you? Oh, that's good. There's just some stuff in this world that's better left as a mystery, you know? Anyway, you really bailed me out to, by finding this. Man, I owe you. Aw oh, man, thanks for bringing this back to me. Spinning wheel. Like like rumble stilson kind of shit okay well whatever <laughs> we we helped him um i still have not found this last fossil yet i'm assuming i didn't miss it up here but i guess it's possible that i did while i was talking uh oh i was like i was like oh it's right there that's obvious no that's the uh that's the time capsule we buried all right, but give me one sec, I'm gonna do one last sweep. If I don't find it, I don't find it. It's not the end of the world, but we've got other shit we wanna do today. Oh boy, there it is, okay. Walked right over it. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, we can head to Main Street. How's my inventory looking? Got four open spaces, uh, and I could make more. Can I give the spinning wheel to Peck? Maybe I don't. I assume it's not that big, but it might be a little bigger than what he's looking for. If not, we'll buy him something at the uh, at the new store that's opened. Why are you so concerned about the amount of carbs that I'm eating? I did eat a little bit of carbs. I had a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich. I think that's all I've eaten today, though. It's a little small. Didn't you say you wanted something small? All right, whatever. What about a balloon bed? No, do I really want to give him a balloon bed? Um, I don't know. I don't want it though. Do you want it? That's too big. What? Oh, okay. I think the balloon bag actually, 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 is actually a uh, a two by four item. Um, I'm guessing he wants a one by two. Or did I say two by four? I meant two by two. Um. In terms of like the amount of tiles the furniture takes up, I forgot the button to open the door there. Uh, yeah, depending on the um, amount of, uh, or rather, going by the amount of tiles on the f floor of your house that uh, the furniture items take up, I think he wants a one by two. Uh, normally, I wait until I am done shopping, but because um, oh, what are you paying? Probably the shirt, I would guess. Um, I actually didn't mean to get rid of that shirt, because I kind of liked it, but uh, I can actually show up something off then, because of that, now that we have an expansion to the Nookling store. And yeah, it's furniture, okay. All right, um, but with that all out of our inventory, uh, I'm gonna head to the museum real quick, donate whatever fossils I can, uh, and then we actually have two new shops to check out on Main Street because we didn't uh, check out the gardening shop on uh, April Fools because it was closed because I arrived too late. But yeah, let me go talk to Blathers real quick. Potto torso, pterodactyl, right wing, diplodocus neck, and a fern fossil. Nice. Okay, so those actually all were new, uh, not that I, I mean at this point in the game, most of the fossils that you get are going to be new, but it's, I kind of like it when I have all new fossils, especially since I'm not really hurting for cash right now. Uh, oh, speaking of which, we should uh, stop by Nook's Homes and uh, 
talk about expanding our house since we paid off our home loan. So let's do that. What's up, Tommy boy? I guess your nephew is Tommy, you're just Tom. Alright, yep. Uh, we can talk to him if we want to make it larger. I should also point out that he's got stuff in his house, or house, shop here, uh, that does change daily, like the rest of the shops. Um, he's got, uh, this is kind of the tile that's under your house, uh, roof type, a little, like, facade, I guess, siding, maybe, of your house. Uh, fence, I actually kind of like that fence. Uh, a couple doors and a mailbox. So if you want to change up how your house is looking, uh, you can do that. And actually today, I might do that. Because I, I'm not, I kind of like this brown roof, um, and I kind of like this stone gray brick fence here, yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm debating on whether or not to do this. The fancy exterior. Ah, heck with it, why not? Um... And you know what? Go big or go home. We're just going to completely change how my house looks, I guess. I'm going to get everything in here. Um, aside from one of the doors. I'm going to go with this door. This door looks a little... A little more like it would fit with my house. Um, the, uh, the only thing that uh, you cannot do... Like, obviously I can change just about every part of my house like I just did. Uh, the only thing that he can't do is, uh, enlarge the house on the same day. So, yeah. I don't... I mean, yeah, I guess it'd be a lot of work. So, sure. Uh, so, even though I said we were gonna enlarge my house, instead we're just gonna change the, uh, the exterior a little bit. Alright, um, but with that, uh, let's head to the new TNT Mart. Uh, Isabel did talk about it. They are open a lot, uh, longer in the day. Um, there's Tommy. Uh, they are open a lot longer in the day. Uh, so I believe their hours are from 7 to 10, I want to say. It might actually be 7 to 11. Well, that'd be funny, but, um... But yeah, um, they do have, uh, more inventory. So I never talked about these because I'm not sure how to do it on my very real Nintendo 3DS. Um, but these are fortune co cookies. Oh, how did I... Oh, for... Wait, no? How do I have play coins? Okay, well, I can show this off then, I guess. I don't... Maybe I cheated them in at some point. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, if you buy one of these, he now has two in the shop um, that you can buy daily. Uh, used to be just one. But you will get a fortune. There's a fortune inside. Wise men say the brain is a terrible thing to waste. Number 47. Uh, I feel like that is not a winner. Um, there are winners and losers. Uh, the winners are uh, usually Nintendo items, and the losers aren't terrible either. Oh, that is a winner. Oh, it's a Metroid. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Um, so yeah, we just got ourselves a little Metroid. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try and do this every day. Get like a Nintendo item or something. Uh, ranch bookcase. Well, the ranch set is uh, not not a bad set. I like the ranch set. Uh, another modern wood uh, thing here. And then this is some sort of bath thing. Wash, wash station. Um, sure. Uh, that's probably gonna go to Peck because, yeah. Uh, the other thing that they now, well, one of the other things that they now sell is uh, Tammy. They now sell Tammy. No. Um, what are you doing here? It's just a convenience store. People come in here wearing any old thing. It can be pretty embarrassing if you run into someone who's all dolled up and stuff, you heard. Eh. It's a gas... Yeah, I, I saw something on Reddit the other day. Or maybe it was Twitter. Um, but, uh, it was, like, talking about, like, Americans really dress like this to go to the, the co convenience store or something like that. And it was somebody wearing pajamas. It's like, it's a gas station. Like, if like literally, if I'm, if I'm just, like leaving my house to walk down the street, go to the gas station, like, I'm not gonna put on a nice, I, I might, me personally, I would probably put on jeans or sweatpants, but it's not like it really makes that much of a difference. They're not going to some formal event. 
Um, but regardless, the other thing that they now sell uh, are car carbon wallpapers. Uh, you can take a look at them uh, before you buy them, and so you can see how they look. Um, I'm just filling up my inventory with shit so I can sell it back to retail. Um, the last final new, last final, the new, okay, the last thing that is new in here that they sell daily is, um, this, uh, you, you hear that? That's a lovely sound. Um, the last new thing that they sell in the shop is, uh, they'll have a new, uh, tool of rotating daily. I think it can either be the megaphone, the stopwatch, or the slingshot. Um, really, I think the only one that is useful is the slingshot. The megaphone, um, actually, I don't know that I would be able to use it, uh, here, but, uh, it basically lets you, when you're standing out in your town, you can, uh, call your neighbors, basically, and figure out where they are, uh, if they're standing out and, and about. But it also relies on voice recognition on the 3DS, which can be a little finicky. This is the other new thing. This is the Nook sh uh, shopping catalog. So, uh, say I accidentally sold something that I wanted to get back, uh, the balloon items notwithstanding, because they cannot be rebought, which is generally why I save them instead of selling them. Um, but say I wanted to get this clothes cl closet or another of the common bed or whatever, I wanted to get something for the modern uh, wooden set. That's uh, this is where I would come to basically reorder it, and then whenever the next uh, mail delivery is, I believe is when they deliver it. I think mail comes at nine and five. Um, so uh, if you order something uh, and it hasn't shown up yet, just wait until after five. Maybe exit and leave your house if it's still not there, because that can sometimes change what's in your mailbox. Um, like I said, though, I actually didn't mean to sell this, so I'm going to rebuy this this blue flannel shirt because, uh, like I said, in real life, it's actually something that I would probably wear. Um, maybe not fully buttoned up like that, but I, I like I like my flannels. Um, Alright, thanks, Tommy. It's getting to not be flannel season, though, anymore. You wouldn't know it on today of all days, because it's everything that's covered in snow, but... It's, uh, it's getting sunny. It'll melt quickly, I think. Now for the flower shop. The gardening shop, I guess. We can meet this character. Welcome. Oh, a first-timer. Welcome. I sell flowers here. Nice, beautiful flowers. Yes, indeed. I also have saplings, tools, and many, uh, many more things, so please do take your time and have a look around. Yeah, this is Leaf. Um, and you're gonna want to make it a habit if you're, I mean saying like people are playing along with me if you are happening to play along or whatever maybe you started a new town um then uh you're gonna want to buy your flowers and trees here daily because there is a reward for buying 50 flowers and 50 trees or saplings i guess uh from him the uh nook or er, nook leaf can also sell two different types of tools the axe and the watering can so if you didn't do Isabel's tutorial stuff, uh, this is your chance to do that. Now, I opened up my letter box here because normally I don't keep the axe in my inventory because I don't feel like it's something that, like, I need to get to quickly. Uh, if I want to chop down a tree, then I'll open my inventory and pull it out. But the nice thing that you can do with, uh, letters is you can actually use them as kind of additional storage for, for items. Uh, you can't push put things like fish and bugs in them, um, but uh, say I really wanted to buy something else here and I didn't have room, I could put like this ranch bookcase in a shelf or in a pre uh, letter or something, um, and and I would have a little bit more space. Um, I don't like using it like constantly like that. I I really do only use it like for a couple of tools and uh, in like last case scenarios where it's like, oh, I only have one more thing that I need to bring with me. I'll throw something in a letter real quick. Um, but I'm going to uh, sell everything I'm not going to keep. It'll actually be interesting. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to sell and what I'm going to keep here. But uh, after that, we'll head to uh, retail and then we can head to town hall. Okay, it turns out I'm only selling the carpet and wallpaper because I think I've got plans for everything else. 
Um, we should go find Peck, too, because I need to give that wash, wash station to him. Um, and I also didn't pay attention to what kind of flowers we had. I might start trying to do a little bit more flower breeding. Yellow, violet, and white. White cosmos. I said white violet again. Um, putting them... Putting flowers by flowers of the same type can, uh increase the uh, chance of there being a rare flower spawning. Um, however, I'm not seeing any cosmos or lilies. That's a lot of tulips and roses. Okay, uh, those are yellow though. Yellow and white, I don't think makes any any cool color. White and white might, I think that's white and white roses or cosmos though. So really what I'm looking for is a red cosmo. What's up, Coco? You know how I say doyoing a lot? Do you think I should find something else to say? Um, well, okay, this is another thing that villagers will ask you for. Uh, everybody comes pre-equipped with the catchphrase um, and a greeting, I think. Maybe not a greeting, but everybody has a catchphrase, and sometimes they'll ask you to redo them. I'm always terrible, so sometimes I decline it just because it's like, I, I kind of like your default one, and I can't come up with anything better, so... Um, Coco, I think right now, I'm sorry, but I think it's great. Really? Well, if you think so, then I'll stop worrying about it. Thanks, Patrick. Oh, and doyoing. All right. Well, there's that. Um, I'm guessing it's like all of my cosmos that could be a, a potential match for this one. I don't have a lot of yellow ones there. I'm really looking for red, though, like I said. Oh, Peck. Um... Let's see if you... Why do you keep talking if I'm carbo-loaded? It's weird, bro. Alright, wash wash station. Do you like this? Whoa, wash station. It's pr you probably need that, given how much you seem to care about working out and stuff like that. What are you going to give me? A tra <laughs> Speaking of which... Alright, that actually... It actually might have been something that was in his house. I'm not sure. Maybe I can look up Peck's house in, in New Leaf. Maybe he has a, uh, a treadmill in it. I'm gonna keep looking around for not only um, Cosmos, but also, was it Violets or Lilies? I genuinely, I forgot. Um, it was Violets, yeah. Um, wow, there might not be any in this town that are not uh, ah, okay, there we go, here are some red cosmos at least, so, uh, there are also yellow ones here, but, um, basically red and yellow, um, generally, if you put those two types of flowers together, you can get, uh, orange, uh, and red and pink, you'll get, uh, or red, uh, red and white, rather, you'll get pink, um, there are others, uh, there are certain flowers that have black rose or black uh, buds on them. Uh, they're like blue and purple cosmos, which look really cool. Um, it's, it's, it takes, it generally, genu generally takes a while though. Um, new flowers don't uh, pop up. I mean, they do pop up overnight, but um, it, it can take a little bit. I'm not sure that I have any violets in my town, and I'm not sure that I'm even capping about that. Uh, so I'm just gonna plant those there, and maybe I'll try and remember that my violets are, are there. So, now that we are here, and now that it's not a holiday, we can finally get to work as mayor. Hi, Mayor Patrick, is there something I can help you with? Well, let's do the first thing first. Uh, I want to take care of the ordinances. Okay, let's work on ordinances. At present, there are no ordinances in effect in Ginger. To enact an ordinance, a processing fee of 20,000 bells is required. Once enacted, ordinances can be cancelled for free. Shall we continue? Okay. Now then, what kind of town would you like Ginger to become? Uh, so we get four options here. Uh, I guess I can show them in on the bottom screen. Uh, beautiful town, early bird town, night owl town, or wealthy town. Um, I think the one that has the most effects is probably the beautiful town. Uh, weeds will stop popping up as frequently. Like if you do, like I've been doing, and you maybe miss a couple days, you're not playing daily. 
uh, there will not be weeds popping up nearly as frequently. There will still be uh, an occasional clover, but clovers have an additional use, so it's actually kind of good that they keep spawning. Uh, I believe dandelions still spawn as well, um, but there will no longer be any more trash uh, that you fish up when you are fishing. Um, that is all gone away if you do a, a beautiful town. The other uh, thing, well, other couple things, is that uh, flowers will no longer wilt. Again, if you just like miss a couple days like I have been doing recently, flowers will no longer wilt, uh, which is really nice. And uh, they also, I believe, have an inch increased chance of breeding. So uh, if you're trying to get hybrid flowers, then beautiful is probably the way you want to go. Uh, early bird and night owl, night owl are pretty self-explanatory. Um, early bird, the shops open uh, a lot earlier. So if you're like me in middle school and you woke up early and wanted to play Animal Crossing, then this is the town for you. Uh, the uh, night owl is the same thing, except uh, they will open their stay open later. Um, that is the downside, though, with these two, is that um, if you do the early bird town, for example, um, then your uh, shops will, they will open earlier, but they will also close earlier. And same with the night, night owl town, they will stay open later, but they'll also open at first later. Um, so uh, depending on if you, like, when you have time to play video games, I think that can be a, a really good kind of system, but... Um, I generally don't go with those two. The last one is the Wealthy Town, which I believe, um, I believe what it does is it increases, I don't know the exact amount, but it increases the amount of money that you get from selling things. I want to say that is 1.5, the, uh, normal times, uh, or the normal amount that you get. Um, and, uh, likewise, it will also increase, I believe, the, uh, the cost of items in stores and stuff like that. Um, I think that might only be by 1.25, so you're still making, you know, if you wanna count them against each other, you're still making a, a better profit than you would be. Um, so if that is the focus of your town that you're going for, you just like wanna be focused on money, uh, that is what I would go for. The other thing that uh, uh, having a wealthy town does is, it adds a, uh, a second item at retail that is uh, considered a premium item so that they'll give you more money for each day. With that out of the way, I, uh, I, oh, I hit the B button. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I think my, I think my vision is clear. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I just, I'm playing on an Xbox controller, so A and B are are backwards. A uh, town where flowers live forever and weeds hardly ever grow. Oh, and no garbage or cockroaches. Cockroaches aren't um, a thing that we've gotten into yet, but if you do go, it's, it's like a while. I'm not sure exactly how long, but it's it's like, I think it's gotta be a couple weeks at least um, of you not playing the game. Uh, not even like opening up your save. I think if you open up your save or whatever, it'll help prevent it, but um, Whoops, let's get the bottom screen off, this, or, yeah, bottom screen off there as well. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, when you enter your house after not playing for a while, you will, your occasional, your, your character will occasionally look stunned, uh, and you'll hear a little, like, uh, and that's your, that's your sign that, uh, you have cockroaches, so you gotta find them and step on them. That's your grand vision of Ginger, right? Exactly. Okay, so you want to sign the Keep Ginger Beautiful Ordinance into law? Let's do it. Then it's official. The ordinance will go into effect tomorrow morning. I'll let the townsfolk know. Is there anything else I can help you with right now? Uh, yes, actually. This is the other thing that we can do. Uh, well, yeah, public works projects. Uh, first, you choose a project that you'd like to work on from the list of requests the citizens have made. Once you've chosen a project, we can go ahead and search for, pla for a place to build it. Once we've found a spot for it, we'll need to raise the constru uh, construction funds by asking for donations. I feel like I can't read properly when my nose is, gets stuffy. When my no my nose gets stuffy. Then, after we've collected enough donations to fully fund the project, the structure will be built. Please keep in mind that we only have the resources to work on one public works project at a time. Well then, let's dive right in. Here are the current requests from the town people. 
Um, so you always start off with this default group of projects here. Um, there are some good ones. Uh, I like, you know, getting another bridge is good. Um, there are some different kinds of bridges uh, that you can potentially unlock later. Um, so if you don't love either the cobblestone or the suspension bridge looks, then you can uh, wait for a little bit. Uh, your villagers are actually the ones that suggest uh, public works projects. And I think it's sort of a thing where uh, the more projects you have, the more likely they'll be to suggest stuff. Um, suggestions are also, I believe, based on villager personality, which is something that I don't really want to get into right now, but basically each uh, villager uh, in the game has a set personality type, um, and those personality types correspond to different types of public works projects. Um, but for now we've got cobblestone sus or suspension bridge, yellow bench, water well, fountain, park clock, street lamp, campsite, fence, fire hydrant, custom design sign, face cutout standee, or do not enter sign. Um, the one that a lot of people probably go for first is the bridge, getting another bridge in your town, because it is kind of annoying to only have one. Um, but I think I'm going to hold off for a little bit because it's a little bit pricey. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure where I would want to put it. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do any of these today, really. Um, I should point out, actually, you know what, we'll do the campsite today. Because the campsite, um, I'll go ahead and confirm it, but, um, you won't be able to demolish it once you're finished. A lot of them you will be able to, if you decide later that you don't like how something looks where it is, you can tell Isabel to take it down. Uh, the campsite, though, is a permanent structure, and it's because it actually plays uh, a sort of important role in uh, in your town. Um, so occasionally, I think, I want to say it's only like once a week or something, you will get a, uh, a campsite or a camper, um, and they will come stay in your campsite. Uh, and that is a potential way that you can get your 10th villager. Uh, I talked about the number of villagers. She's not going to let me put it over here. I kind of like having it in the tra near the train tracks. I actually, might actually dig this up and move it just so it's not accidentally destroyed. But um, um, she's probably going to tell me it's too close to the train tracks or too close to the river or too close to the rock. But I thought it would be kind of a nice area over here, yeah, yeah, basically you need a lot of space, alright, I'm probably not going to be able to put it over here then, that's okay, I might put it, uh, over to the right of retail, um, but yeah, uh, so a camper will come to your town, I guess I should rebury the, uh, time capsule here, uh, the camper will come to your town, uh, they'll stay for a day, uh, and while they're there, you have a chance to play some mini games with them, uh, campers have items that I believe they either used to be unique to camping uh, or they still are some of them maybe. Uh, there's actually another place that we haven't gone to in town so maybe we'll go do that today as well. Um, that has to do with the meow coupons uh, and I think you can find some of the uh, items you can get from camping there as well. What about around here, ma uh, Mayor? You basically should be Mayor Isabel, you're way more uh, motivated and determined with this job. I like that though. Um, it's, I mean, I think that probably comes from Chaga Conroy too, but um, I like having my train station, or my uh, campsites by the train stations just because I feel like it's like, oh, they're, they're close by so they can take the train into town and just be right there next to their campsite. Uh, yeah, so this is Lloyd. Uh, we actually, I'm not, I guess this is what I was talking about when we were on the island. I'm not sure if this is the same Lloyd, but there is a Lloyd here and there is a Lloyd on the island. Um, so yeah, uh, I actually don't have quite enough money to do this, but I can donate 40,000, I guess. Um, and then I might actually go do something else in order to, uh, to get the rest of them. Oh, I had an initiative to buy an axe. I also have an initiative to buy an ore fish. Well, I'm not going to be able to do these two today, the tree hugger or the fossil, and the ore fish would be pretty tough. Oh yeah, it's April now though, so there should be new fish. Uh, fish and bugs change monthly in Animal Crossing, so it doesn't get too building. 
On a scale from one, 0 to 100%, how good do you feel right now? Like, in terms of... Just, like, in general? Um, I'd say, like, a, like an 80, 85%, I think. Like, yeah, that's probably fine. Well, you're feeling pretty darn good, aren't you? Me too, Mion. I'm feeling so good that I'm even going to give Tammy some of my extra cheerfulness. Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot that we were supposed to meet up with... Uh, Coco at my house at four. I may have missed it. She was standing out there. Sometimes they'll give you a little le leeway, though. Yes, okay, who? It's Coco, I'm here. Are you home, Patrick? I'm kind of glad I talked to Mo there, because I definitely would have forgotten. Hi, thanks for having me. So yeah, uh, having... Uh, animals over to your house is a little bit different than having them invite you over. Um, if they invite you over, I think I talked about that, you can kind of talk with them for a bit and they'll be more or less persuaded to, to give you an item, uh, to sell you an item most of the time. Uh, when they're at your house, they just kind of make general comments. How lovely, what a comfortable place to live. I bet you feel relaxed as soon as you step through the door. It is a pretty, I mean, it's not terrible. I, I, I would not mind living in this place. I need maybe a little little refrigerator, maybe some stove action going on, but you already got the sink and some cabinets. Bed, closet. It's not it's not a terrible little for for a one room house, it's not terrible. I love visiting your house no matter how you decorate it always feels welcoming. Have you been over before? I don't think you have. Um and it's another thing that can happen where if you're just in your house, um, animals can occasionally drop by. Just like if animals are in their houses, you can stop by. But it's a lot less common, uh, I believe, um, to have that happen rather than to a have them ask if they can come over. Wow, I really like your clothes closet. I'm always trying out new ways to organize, so I, s so I should see how you do it. Very nice. Um... Well, you could not probably have that if you want. I'm not a big fan of that closet. Um, it's a little, it's a little uh, childish, I'll say. Um, I always feel so at peace here. Well, it is very quiet. Uh, later in the game, you can get music uh, like the the other animals have in their houses. But for right now, we're a little, little sol on that. So we just have the 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 quiet of the house. There are um, some furniture items that will make like uh, like ambience noises, uh, for for lack of a better term. Um, like if you get a clock, like you'll be able to hear it ticking, uh, stuff like that. But that kitchen sink is neat. I bet it makes cooking that much more fun. Some peach crisp. You can do that. Let's. Do, I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. I like peach stuff. Um, I don't know exactly how you cook with that, because it just looks like a sink. Um, but yeah, after a while, uh, they will say, I think it's about time I head home. Time does fly. We're having fun. Thanks again for today. See you soon. She hung out for literally three minutes, but we had to plan that out in 45 minutes in advance. Regardless, um... Generally, the next day, if you have somebody over at your house, they'll send you a furniture item, uh, which is nice. But, uh, but yeah, um, I'm glad I didn't miss that. Uh, if you also just get tired of waiting for them to leave, you can also just leave as well. Pretty sure you can just leave as soon as I get there, and they'll be like, Oh, okay, I guess it's time for me to go. My bad. I, I, I kind of feel bad sometimes when I leave, because it's like, eh. Because I'm, I'm weird, and I feel bad about potentially offending robotic video game animals. Not robotic, but I meant in the fact that they're in a video game. I don't know that I've ever been here, though. This is the campsite, um, and we can talk to this guy here. Hey, pal, is this your first time here? Well, welcome. The name's Harvey. You can call me Harv for short or Harv for long. Haha, <laughs> plain old Harvey is fine, too. Now, some people might tell you that car camping isn't real camping, but I say fooey to that. We get a real nice crowd here, just lovely people from all over. They come to relax and meet new folks. So don't be shy, come come on by and say 
uh, any old time and say hello. Oh, I almost forgot. As this camp host, I run a little shop here, too. It's not much, just a humble little outpost, but you're welcome to browse our wares anytime. Just one thing, your bells are no good here. We only accept meow coupons. Anyways, nice to meet you, and I hope to see you again soon. Toodles! Um, yeah, so that is, uh, this is something that, uh, you can come to every day. Harvey will have new items that, again, you can look into buying if you want. Um, but there will also be a camper van here. Uh, and by the way, I am one of those people that says car camping is not real camping, but it's got to be in a tent. Like, come on. If you're going to get out in nature, get out in nature. Uh, this is Jack. Um, I guess I could show the bottom screen here. Um, you can maybe tell that this is a guy who likes a certain holiday, but when he's not presiding over Halloween, Jack lives simply and frugally. His only two indulgences are his decked out camping van and candy. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to get, uh, a lot of these items are actually related to uh, Halloween. Uh, the spooky wall and carpet are actually uh, what I was talking about earlier, they're related to, uh, they're the furniture set that goes on sale, uh, starting in October, um, but if you want to get them now, you can, uh, these pumpkin heads, uh, the Jack in the Box, I think is part, it's part of a different, uh, item set, I think that's only available on Halloween, although, I might be wrong about that, there's, so there's the spooky set, and there's the creepy set, um, and, I think the Jack in the Box might technically be part of the creepy set. It also might just be a random item. Uh, they're the patched uh, clothes here. Ooh, the pumpkin pie. I might get that. Although that doesn't really look like a pumpkin pie. That looks like an apple pie, if you're asking me. But, um, I mean, because, yeah, pumpkin pies don't have the, the like, braiding over the top like that. It, I don't know if that's the actual term but like the the little like diamonds and check marks there i don't think they have that normally um the pumpkin head spooky wall lamp tea table wooden display stand i actually don't mind those display stands uh there's something later in the game that they can kind of be useful for um i'm not sure that i'm gonna buy anything i'm, I'm gonna buy the pumpkin pie i'll get the pumpkin pie but i think that'll be it even though i don't think it's really pumpkin pie but um uh, yeah uh yeah i think that's gonna be it for now um now there is something else that you can do um that i'm actually going to try to do right now but i'm going to need a second so hang on for just one minute oh it did work okay sweet so what i just did is uh i i used my isabel amiibo um which i actually do have um but uh, I had to do some trickery to make it work here. But um, we can have Wisp become Isabel. How nice to see you, Patrick. How are you? Um, whoa, do I sound just like Isabel or what? Your wish is my command. How can I help you today? Um, if uh, So there are a lot of the cards. Peck was one of the uh, ones that you can get from the cards. Uh, with that, you can either tell them to give you uh, an item. They'll give you, I think, just like a random item. Uh, or, uh, if, uh, if you want, uh, with the cards, you can tell them to move in, like I told Peck. With the amiibo figurines, it's a little different, though. We can say, let's hang out, uh, which you couldn't see, I'm sorry, but... Oh, it actually looks like the real Isabel's a little busy right now. But don't you worry, I'll do my thing and Isabel will be here before you know it. Well, I suppose it's back into the lamp for me, then. Here, take these meow coupons as a little thank you. Alright. I might actually go ch change those coupons into, uh into bells here in a second, but, um, but, um, I believe, uh, if you're gonna do this, then I would recommend, uh, doing whatever you need to take care of at Town Hall first, because I think once Isabel is out of Town Hall, uh, she, oh, you know what, I think it actually is Wisp that is at Town Hall when you summon Isabel, um, and there are other villagers that you can do this with, too. Um, I mean, uh, Blather... Er, uh, not Blathers. Actually, maybe Blathers does have one. I can't remember. Um, but um, uh, Tom Nook is who I meant. Uh, Digby and Lottie both have... Well, oh, we haven't met Lottie yet. Lottie actually is a very minor character in this game, but she will show up eventually. Alright, but yeah, Isabel's here. Isabel wanted me to tell you that she's not here today, but that I can help you with anything you need. But truthfully, I don't know much about Ginger, let alone working at Town Hall. So the best advice I can give you is to come back here when Isabel's here. 
So, yeah, um, like I said, take care of what you want to do uh, in your town hall uh, before you have, or really with whoever, whichever character you want. Um, however, I am doing this specific character because uh, I know it gets me access to a couple of items that I want. You can now see that Isabel has a van here that was not here before. So if we go inside here, uh, make no mistake, Isabel is the dynamo that keeps the town humming along, but even, uh, but even she needs a day off, and camping is her favorite way to unwind. Um, you can hear, oh, you can actually, uh, check if you're curious about the song that's playing. Uh, this is Forest Life, it's a, I don't think it's a secret song in this game, but it might be. Um, there are a couple secret songs. Um, but yeah, we can talk to, to Isabel here. Did we even talk to Jack? I don't think we did. I hope you weren't looking all over for me. Did I mention that I was taking today off, didn't I? Well, if you need anything in my in my official, in any official capacity, Jesus, I can't fucking read, I'll be back in the office tomorrow. Um, yeah, you can see her, kind of, it's nice seeing her in like a, a casual outfit like that too. Like, she's actually relaxing for once in her life. Uh, the green wall, modern flooring, I like both of those. The alpine stuff, this is actually uh, dyed alpine stuff, it's normally blue. Um, but we'll learn more about dying later in the game. Not actually, like, not like I'm going to die, but like D-Y-E, like that kind of die. Um, the Isabel scooter, uh, I think that's an item that I would imagine is exclusive to Isabel, but um, I like that lamp actually a lot, I have a lamp that looks a lot like that in my basement. Um, the two items that I want though, not the PA system, the Town Hall Winter... Uh, yeah, the two uh, items that I want are the new 3DS and the Wii U console because these are way more than just aesthetic. Unfortunately, although it is only four o'clock, so maybe I could, but I don't think I'm gonna play for another 45 minutes. Um, Tomorrow we will get both of those items and we'll look into uh, what they do, but they're actually really cool and I think they add a lot of playability. I don't want to say replayability because replayability is already pretty high in this game, I think, but um, but uh, it, I think it, it adds a nice little something else to do in the game uh, when, you're, when you're just kind of doing nothing. Uh, that being said, though, I think I'm about ready to wrap up this episode. Um, but first, I'm going to head to the bank and exchange some coupons uh, so I have a little bit of money to finish paying off the campsite. And then maybe... I don't know. I don't think I'm probably going to record tomorrow, but I, I'm, I'm trying to kind of go back and forth between Animal Crossing and Elden Ring. Um, occasionally, you might see... Um, you might see two episodes in a row of one or the other, but, um, oh, put it in my account. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it in my pockets. Um, was that enough? Why do I have two bells in there? Okay, well, whatever. Um, I, I somehow feel like that isn't enough. I, th I feel like I was missing 20, but I, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I was going to say. Um, I don't know... Yeah, I don't think that I'm going to... Yeah, I was, oh, that's what it was. Um, yeah, I'm trying to go back and forth between Animal Crossing and Elden Ring. Um, but yeah, like I said, there might be a few days. And, I'm, and I am going to try and do daily uploads, even though I think it'll... I don't I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not promising uploads every day, but... Um, but I'll try and do most of the time. I am 700 bells short from this shit, or more specifically 678 bells short. So, oh, you know what? We actually have our, uh, our perfect trees grew, so maybe I'll take some of these and sell them off. Uh, I can talk a little bit about that. Um, once you start getting, like, if, if you maybe have another town that you can go to frequently, um, I would actually recommend planting a good amount of perfect fruit because uh, I think they'll sell for, I want to say 500 each in, in my town, which is pretty good, um, all things considered. I need to get rid of these flowers in my inventory. Um, yeah, all things considered, that's pretty good. Um, but uh, if you take them to uh, a different... Uh, 420. 
Um, if you take them to a different town, they sell, I think, for 3,000 a piece. So, big difference between 3,000 and 500, so. Uh, yeah, I unfortunately don't think multiplayer is possible, given how I'm playing this game. Um, but, uh, that's okay, because there are still plenty of ways to make money. And I didn't even talk about one of them, uh, that being the, the stock market. The, uh, the literal stock market, so turn of stock. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to take these in and sell them off. That should get me enough to, uh, give... To the project there and uh, and then I think we'll wrap up this episode I think I'm gonna get rid of the treadmill too I don't think there's anything else I want to get rid of I, I might actually I'm gonna try and find a space for the uh, ranch bookcase in the modern wood lamp there maybe I'll replace my dog lamp with the modern wood lamp much as I love the dog I don't really love it that much it's just my favorite balloon item all right, but with that, we should definitely have the money to uh, give here to Lloyd. White man's burden, Lloyd. White man's burden. So that's a shining reference. It's a shining reference. I'm not actually saying white people have it hard. It's just a shining reference. Please don't get mad at me. I just like that movie a lot. All right. And the bar, the fake bartender that Jack sees is named Lloyd. Awesome! Project's donation goal has been met. So yeah, uh, another thing where it's always it, it's it's always like this when you when you play enough Animal Crossing in one day, it's always like, all right, now it's just I'm I'm waiting for tomorrow. You know, we will have our our ordinance in effect. We'll have our our stuff that we ordered from the mail. We'll have the uh, the uh, thing built. It's, uh, it's tomorrow, tomorrow, it's, there's always tomorrow, it's all, it's only a day away, I can't even, I didn't really remember the lyrics, I was trying to pull them off the top of my head, but it didn't really go well. Alright, yeah, I think I am gonna get rid of the, not get rid of, but replace the, the dog here, um, yeah, nice little, nice little lamp there, that works as a night, nightstand kind of thing. Uh, and then, yes, I will put the balloon bed away, and the, I'm actually going to put the Metroid away as well, because I'm not going to, uh, use that right now. I'm also going to put the tree sapling away. I tend to stockpile saplings, uh, particularly if they're pine saplings, like the, uh, the one I had was, because, um, they... I, I, I don't know. I, whenever I, like, put a tree down, I'm always like, eh, I want to move that. And unfortunately, it's not like it was. It is, rather, in uh, New Horizons, where you can just dig up a tree if you eat a piece of fruit. Um, you ha The only way to... I mean, there is no way to move a tree in this game. You either... Uh, you either... Uh, plant it and cut it down if you don't like it, or you just don't plant it. Uh, I think I'm going to switch where these two are, because I don't like the bookshelf um, blocking the window as much as it was, and I don't think the chair will do it like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright, that would be my clothes chair, <laughs> if this were real life. Everybody's got a clothes chair, right? It's just the chair where it's like, eh, it's not really dirty enough to be like put in the wash, or like the, the hamper or whatever. But it's not really clean enough to go back with the rest of the clothes. It, it goes on the clothes chair. Anyways, <laughs> maybe I'm just lazy and I don't like doing laundry. So I try and get as much use out of my clothes as I can. Um, but that's not even a maybe. That's just the case. Anyways, enough rambling. Uh, thank you all for uh, checking out the series. Um, I'm definitely... It's not going anywhere. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'm excited to get more into this and see how our town uh, develops, either uh, probably either tomorrow or the next day. So, uh, yeah, I will see y'all then. Bye-bye.